<laughs> hey guys, hey guys, hey guys. So I just came from my TLC event. If you never came to my channel before, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you comment. Make sure you share today. Follow me on Snapchat, CEO Tanisha Marie, and on Instagram, Coach Tanisha Marie, friend. So, <clears throat> but when I first got started in this online marketing industry, I didn't really know nothing, okay? I didn't believe in myself. I didn't believe that I can do this. Um, I didn't believe that a thousand dollars a day was possible. Um, you know, I didn't know too much. And you know, online marketing sounds good, right? It really, really sounds good, right? It sounds okay. Well, you could work from home, make your own money from home. But see, nobody really tells you the fucking grind behind it. Nobody really tells you the real work, the real money that you gotta spend, okay, <laughs> with this shit, okay? Online marketing, online marketing, friends. It's like building your own brick and mortar store, except you're doing it online and you don't have to worry about products. So think about it. If you was to build your own offline store, your own brick and mortar store offline, how much would that cost you? You know, 100 grand, 50 grand. 200 grand. I know McDonald's costs 500 grand to open. Subway costs another 250 to open up. I don't know. Right? I don't I don't know. You know, I don't I don't know how much <laughs> you know, it would cost. But I know online marketing is that same thing. Even though you may not spend 50,000 to start it, but you will spend 50,000 over time. See with McDonald's, you got to come up with the 500 grand or you're getting a loan for 500 grand and you got to pay that. See, with internet marketing, you pay the 50,000 or 20,000 or 100,000 over time. And, you know, a lot of people come online because they feel, oh, I could join a program for $40 and make, you know, trillions. And then, you know, when they get online and, you know, they pay 40 and then... What happens is once they pay the 40, then it's another 40 or another 80, then another 100, then another 200, then another 1,000. And then when you think that small, you feel like you're being robbed. You feel like you're being scammed because $40, people feel like if I pay $40 to join a program, I should be able to make 1,000 a day because you see all these videos right where people are making a thousand a day you see all these videos where people you know are doing it but see what I don't like is that people don't really tell you the grind and the hustle that go behind it most people are not hustlers most people are not grinders right so when you tell people about hustling and grinding it goes in one end out the other right see I'm from the hood so hustling and grinding is in my spirit people that's from the hood hustling and grinding is in your spirit so, you know, but you got to have some hustle in you to win <laughs> in business, right? So people get involved with a $40 program or a $100 program or a $200 program and they feel that's all they need. Okay. All right. Good. <laughs> that's all they need. That's how they feel, right? When I first got started, you know, God said, give me $100. I'll show you how to make 10 grand a month. Shit. That sounded perfect. I said, that's all I need. $100. Then once I got into the system, it was another upsell for a thousand. I'm like, so for the hundred, what are you gonna show me? <laughs> the hundred, what are you gonna show me? Um, <laughs> nothing. So then it was a thousand. Then it was a four thousand dollar program. Then it was a ten thousand. I'm like, well, and the guy was like, well, you gotta go through all those levels. Uh, I don't have a thousand. I told you I had a hundred dollars. She was gonna show me how to make. So I felt like I was scammed. I feel like he betrayed me, right? But now, you know, I get it. Now I understand sales and understand marketing and advertising. But here's how it works, friends. When you get online and you see online marketing as a way for you to win, 
if you see online marketing friends as a way for you to obtain freedom if you see online marketing friends as a way okay for you to change your life and get to the next level in your life now what you got to say to yourself is how much am I willing to pay to change my life how much am I willing to pay for freedom how much am I willing to pay to leave my job how much am I willing to pay to change my future because if you're only willing to pay a hundred dollars or forty dollars it's not too much you can expect but when people think small that's what they expect. They think I pay 40 or I pay 100 and I make a million. That's how they think, right? But you got to really dig deep in yourself. This is why with my Amazon course, I think it's the best course. Because it's not just teaching people how to sell on Amazon. I teach people how to change their mind. In my rock star social media, yeah, I charge 500 But I teach people how to change their mind and that's priceless. So you got to say to yourself, $1,000 a day, is it easy for me to do, right? And if it is, how much is it worth to you to make 1000 a day? See, some people think I just pay 40, I'm good. No. People think I just pay 1000, I'm good. No. People think I just, you know, you know pay 1500 or 2000, I'm good. No. It doesn't work like that, friends. First of all, with internet marketing, friends, with any business, you have to understand sales, right? Unless you're investing, then that's different. Investing is, like, different. You have to understand sales, friends. Selling products and services that solve people's problems and meet people's needs. And there's just different levels. That's why I tell people, you come in at 500 on my Amazon course, then there's another level. Then if you don't go to the next level, you're not going to get all the information. You got to pay for the information. People go to school and spend 50 grand on a college degree and get nothing. Right. So you got to pay for information. So I tell people all the time, right, what is freedom worth to you? Are you willing to sacrifice your rent this month, your car note this month? Are you willing to sacrifice eating out with your family for the next six months? Are you willing to sacrifice for the next five years so that your future can be better? See, most, 98% of people, whether it's direct selling, whether it's internet marketing, whether it's multi-level marketing, friends, most don't have a goal. All they focus on is, oh, I got to make money. I got to make money. I got to pay my bill. People operate in desperation, and this is why they can't make money. Right. I'm just telling you from experience. When I first got started online, I was operating out of desperation. I just got fired from my job. I was doing real estate um, a little bit. Um, but real estate, I was closing a deal maybe fucking every three months. So that wasn't enough, and I was collecting unemployment. So I was operating out of lack. I was operating, literally, friends, focusing on money. And when you focus only on money, friends, you will not make any. Most people get an online market in 30 days, they quit. Direct selling, they quit. Network marketing, they quit. Why? Because this is still on desperation. This is still on stress. I mean, like my mentor said, I'm not worried about money. Not saying I got millions in the bank or none of that. But I'm not worried about bills. I'm not worried about money. Because I know my purpose, right? 98% of people don't know their purpose. All they do is just go to a job, pay bills, and come home and just do that for 40 years and die broke. That's it. No purpose, right? Like, like, like my car has a purpose. My shoes have a purpose. Coffee has a purpose. My purse... My purse has a purpose. Peanuts has a purpose. What is your purpose? That bag, that Gucci bag got a purpose. What's your purpose, friends? And then if you don't have a purpose, what are you doing on earth? So it's bigger. 
all these people that's making millions, six figures, and making seven figures, believe me, they've lost a lot. They hire a lot of mentors. They bought a lot of courses over time. They probably spent six figures, probably spent five figures to get to where they're at. And that's what I'm saying. And in that marketing, when you see a video, it's, oh, just pay 100. You will help you make 10,000. And then the broke-minded person, because broke is a mindset. You can change that. A broke-minded person thinks, oh, I'm going to get 10,000. And you never in your life had $10,000. And you think you're about to make $10,000. And then you fail. And then you say, internet marketing didn't work. No, you didn't change your mindset. You didn't engulf yourself with personal development. You didn't set a goal. You didn't set a foundation. You didn't get a mentor. You didn't get someone to sit down with to show you the way, show you the plan. So you just thought if you put $100 in like a fucking uh, casino, you thought you was, you was about to be rich. And this is why 98% of people fail, friends, in internet marketing, network marketing, and direct selling. So, is making a thousand dollars a day easy? Yes. Five years ago, I would have been like, uh, "Listen, I'm just trying to make a thousand a month. So, forget about a thousand a year. I mean, a thousand a day. I'm just trying to make a thousand a month. Now that I've made a thousand a day over and over and over." When I make it, it's like, oh, okay, cool. Because I made it, right? Now, when I get consistently to 2500 a day, then I'm going to feel better, <laughs> okay? I'm going to feel even better, but I got to grow there because $2,500 a day is about a million a year, okay? $2,500 a day. So I got to think of that, right? Think of that, right? And I got to read. I got to go to more events and seminars and stuff like that. It just don't come like that. I believe a thousand, anybody can do. If you're willing to listen, if you're willing to get a mentor, if you're willing to buy courses, if you're willing to read books, if you're willing to change your mindset, if you're willing to do this. 98% of people don't want to do it. They say it, but then they don't. And they say, oh, I'm going to join Ty Lopez program for $50. And then Ty Lopez got an upsell for $25,000. They say, oh, Ty Lopez is a scam. Then Grant Cardone has a course for $49. And then he upsells you to $1,000. Oh, my God, now you want more money. I got to keep paying this guy. Uh, obviously, they have track records. You know, I got a $500 course. I got a $100 course. My Wealth 101, showing people seven steps to financial independence. You could pay that or not. You have another course, my Amazon, $500. You can pay it or not. I'm going to upsell to $3,500. You can pay that or not. See, I'm where I'm on the right train at 34 years old. Right? I Thank God I'm on the right train. Took me some time to find the right train. Right? But I'm on it and I'm riding it. Most people, 50, 60, 70, still trying to find the train to get on. And guess what? Most people never find the train, so they die broke, confused, no purpose. Nobody, you shouldn't have to live like that, friends. Life is a, be purposeful. Just like your car has a purpose. You don't buy a car just to sit in your garage for 20 years. You buy a car so you could drive the shit. You don't buy shoes just to sit in your car and in, in the closet for 20 years. You buy shoes to wear it. What do you wake up every day for? Just to wake up and just go to a job and pay bills? Then you have no purpose in life. You have no purpose on earth. If all you're doing, friends, is waking up to pay bills, go to work, you're going to die faster than anyone else. Why do you think so many people have heart attacks on a job? <laughs> How many people are getting sick on a job? Because people are sick of going to their jobs. People are sick of going to their jobs people are sick of not having money people are sick of it so you get sick inside internally you start to worry you start to manifest you know fibroids migraines headache constipation now you got all these diseases simply because you don't have a purpose 
simply because you don't have nothing to live for. And don't tell me your kids is what you're living for. Because people commit suicide and they have kids. So forget about kids. Your kids is not your purpose. My purpose is to help a thousand families. God gave me that mission. To help a thousand families earn a thousand dollars a month. Help them understand how to change their mindset and build a foundation for wealth and legacy. That's it. So every day I wake up and say, how many people can I help today? My goal is to help 10 women a day get started in e-commerce or building their business. That's my mission and that's what I think about every day. When people emailing me, that's what I'm thinking about. When I'm doing my videos, that's what I'm thinking about. See, money flows to those who know how to get it, keep it, and multiply it. I'm about to get cooked up with this investment group, real estate investment group, where I can just literally invest my money and they, and they will start to invest in communities, urban communities, to build the black community up. Right, so I'm not interested in a job, right? I'm not interested in none of that slavery shit. I'm not interested in slaving for someone who I don't even know. Because guess what? The slaves slave for somebody they didn't even know. That's what the people do on their job. They happy to get a job, and now you got to listen to this perfect stranger you don't even know. They don't like you, you don't like them. They plotting on you, they plotting on you, and you mad as hell. Every day you go to work, you scared. You have anxiety. You can't go to the bathroom. You constipated. You feeling uptight. You feeling mad. Every day you coming home with your kids, you mad as hell. Your kids ain't, ain't the one made you destitute. You made yourself destitute. So your kids don't deserve the treatment that you're giving them if all you're doing is being mad and yelling and cursing. I used to do that, believe me. I used to curse and yell and shit at my kids and all that. Because I was aggravated, friends. I was frustrated. I was constipated. I had migraines. I was sick to my stomach from working this job, hearing people's problems. I was depressed. So, of course, I'm coming home slamming doors and throwing shit. Of course. Because <laughs> you're mad. <laughs> Come home arguing with my husband. Now, I'm home. My kids go to school. Come home. Hey, how was work? I mean, how was school today? All right? What did you do today? What did you learn today? Do you have homework? Let's get the homework done. I have a whole nother outlook on being a parent. It's not just, oh, just make sure my kids eat. No. What principles do I instill in my kids? Like I said, once a month? Because that's all they can retain because they're kids? I go over the cash flow quadrant with them. How to be business owners and investors. That's what I do with my children. I'm teaching them principles, morals, financial education. That's why I said, friends, it's about building something for your last name. That's why most people fail. Because most people are not interested in wealth. Most people are not interested in building a legacy. The wealth, friends, is built through generation after generation. If you don't give a fuck about your kids' wealth, their health, then what's the purpose of you being a mother? Just to feed them and put a roof over their head? I mean, if you stressed out and cursing them out every fucking day, what's the point? All right. And then you say, oh, my kid is bad as hell. Well, how are you treating your child? Are you yelling and screaming and cursing at your child? Your child listening to Nicki Minaj and watching you roll blunts? Then, yeah. This is the problem. Right? So, see, I have mentors. They teach me this. So, I don't just talk of shit that I'm hoping. <laughs> I'm talking from shit that I know. Things that I do. My wealthy mentors say, all right, well, take your children and tell them what you know at 34 they need to know at 16 and 8. So when they're 34, they, are, they will be literally 10 times ahead of you financially. That's what you want, friends. That's wealth. Right? Wealth is not money. Like Nicole said, she said, wealth is who you are. If you broke money, you broke. If you're hoarding money and all you're doing is holding on to money, you're broke. Are you teaching your children? I mean, my mom, as a young girl, 
10 years old, 12 years old, 18 years old, my mom, all she used to say was, I'm broke, I'm broke, I'm broke, I'm broke, I don't have money, I don't have money, I don't have money. So as a young girl, I grew up thinking that there's no money. I am broke. So that's psychological, friends. I'm still transforming my mind to think about money in a different way. I thought money was hard to get. I thought money was hard to keep. I thought money was hard to multiply because I thought I never had money. So guess what, friends? As a teenager, what did I start doing, right? Doing what? <laughs> the wrong things for money. Right? Because all I knew, my mom was broke, broke, broke. I started doing the wrong things for money. Right? Not because I wanted to do the wrong things for money. It's because in my mind, I was broke. Okay, well, I need to get some money any kind of way. And that's what happened, friends. Thank God I changed my life. Because now I got two girls coming behind me. I was promiscuous at 16. My daughter's still a virgin at 16. I pray to God. I thank God for that. I was crying. <laughs> and I was like, thank God. See, I didn't have someone guiding me in the right direction. My mom went to work, grandma went to work, aunt went to work. Who was guiding me? The streets. <laughs> My new boyfriend that I found every, you know, every three months with a new guy. Right? So so it's very critical, friends. Wealth is who you are, who you become. Right, And then what knowledge do you pass on to the next generation? If you don't pass on great knowledge and information to the next generation, friends, then what are you doing? If all you're doing is telling your kids, I got to wait until I get money or I got to wait until I get paid, then all your kids are going to think is that there's no money until mom get paid. And then guess what? When you do get paid, now you got a whole bunch of bullshit to pay. Now you still can't get your kid what they want. I used to be like that. And now you got to be borrowing money just to get your kid something. Now you in a hole $1,000 every month. By the end of the year, you in a hole 12 grand. How the fuck you getting a hole 12 grand? Because you're not interested in wealth. You're not interested in getting good information, getting good mentors. You're not interested in that. You're interested in just making money or just making ends meet and that kills you. That causes cancer, diabetes, high blood pressure, okay, hypertension, gout, elbow problems, migraines, stinking breath, halitosis, all that causes all those diseases and people don't understand that. Your job makes you sick. Being broke makes you sick. I'm telling you, success is good for the heart. Success is good for the heart knowing that you're making an impact knowing that you have money and your bills are paid friends that is good for the heart people have heart attack dying worried about bills people die worried about their kids future why are you worried about the kids future why don't you create a better future for them the problem is people don't have guidance thank god i have guidance and thank God the people that decide to get involved, they get serious, they get involved with what I'm doing. Now I become their guide to show them the way. But they got to invest a lot of money. That's the thing. 98% of people don't want to invest a lot of money. They'd rather go buy a Gucci bag or a Louis bag. Okay. Or a Gucci belt. Look rich and they, they bank account on negative 100 every day. The bank makes... 63 billion dollars a year on people that have no money in the bank. Ain't that crazy? <laughs> the bank. Somebody said, well, how they do that? All the overdraft fees, all the bounce checks that people write. Oh, the bank charging you for that. See, the bank is nothing but a business. College is nothing but a business. 
Jobs nothing but a business. That's why so many people get out of college broke. That's why a lot of people that got money, you know, in the bank, the bank takes the money. Or they freeze your account. One of my business partners, his account just got frozen. <laughs> he was sick. Can't trust banks. Can't trust college. You got to trust yourself. Put some faith in you. Put some faith behind you. Put some money behind your faith. And see how much of a life changer that will be. But if you only hope, pray, and wish, you're going to die. That's it. You're going to die broke. And that's going to be it, friends. You cannot hope, pray, and wish, friends, for the rest of your life. I'm about to go get me a Beats drink. You can't hope, pray, and wish, friends, for the rest of your life. When do you start to pray and work? See, $1,000 a day, friends, depends on how much traffic and how much how, how good the system is. If the system ain't shit, then you could run all kind of traffic. You still ain't going to make 1000 a day. I can make 1000 a day if I sell two of my Amazon classes. Or, you know, of how many people I'm getting into MCA. Or if I make one sale in MCA, that's a thousand. My TLC, you know, my coaching, training, you know, other stuff, affiliate stuff that I got running. Right? You know, people don't want to put money behind their marketing, you know. My mentor said put five grand a month behind your marketing. If you're serious. <laughs> if you're serious. All right? Most people ain't serious. That's why we have a world of people who are destitute. That's why we got a world of people that got cancer. We got a world of people who have got high blood pressure and diabetes. And now everybody going for this gastric bypass surgery and sleeves and all this other shit. Because they don't know how to control their fucking shit. They don't know how to control their money, their finances. They don't know how to control their mindset. They don't know how to control nothing. All they know, all they know how to do is hope, pray, and wish. And that does not work. That kills you faster. Success is good for the heart. So why don't you learn how to get successful? So you can have a better heart. And not have a heart attack. Do you know the heart attack rate? Of people having heart attacks every year go up every year? That's crazy. People that's getting diagnosed with high blood pressure, diabetes, and all this hypertension shit goes up every year. Like, damn, every year? So that means more and more people are being depressed. More and more people are destitute. More and more people are having less money. That's what that means. You know, I've been working from home going on six years, friends. I struggled for the first three years. I've been working from home going on six years, friends. I struggled. For the first three. I came online 2011. Didn't know shit. Started making money 2013. Right? Made my first six figures in 2000, I think, 14. No, I think, yeah, 14. Then 15. Another six figures. Seven. 17. 16. 17. Another six figures. You know, by 2020, you know. I'm aiming to hit my million, right? So, I'm working. I'm working. I ain't saying that to brag. I'm telling you, I'm going to pray and work. <laughs> I ain't going to pray and hope and wish, guys. I'm going to pray and work. Are you going to pray and work or are you going to wake up every day begging God for an opportunity? You don't have to beg God. You know, he's not a human being. You don't have to beg him. All you got to do is just pray once and believe it's done. So making a thousand dollars a day, I know this video was kind of long, but making a thousand a day, friends, is easy. Put that on your wall somewhere. Like on my vision board, I have $2,500 a day, it's easy. And I see that every day, right? And my hands start to itch. And then I start making sales, more sales. And people start calling me, wanting to do this, and wanting to buy that, and wanting to upgrade. And it's like, wow, I'm in the right, I'm on the right train. I'm on the right boat, and I'm just helping others get on the boat. I'm on the right train. I'm helping others ride the train with me. All I say is, are you next? Not if you're ready. Because 98% of people ain't ready. 
<laughs> they ain't they ain't ready for change. They ain't ready for success. That's why they stay they they stay broke and fail. I just say, are you next? Are you the next person that I'm going to help show a plan for success? If if great, this is the fee. This is what it costs. This is what you got to invest. If not, no, keep looking because here's the thing: this you're looking. <laughs> There's many, many, many people are looking for opportunities. The opportunities are right in your face. You just got to take the opportunity. See, the thing about opportunities, that's why they call it opportunities. Because they only are for a short period of time. Once the opportunity is over, it's done, it vanished, disappears, and never comes back. And then people say, oh, I wish I would have. Uh, you have the opportunity today. But are you going to get started today? See, I'm in it. I have my mentors who's making 10000 a day. See, they're in it. So all I got to do now is listen to what they tell me. All I got to do now is align with them and listen to what they tell me to do. Now I got to worry about the headache. I'm going to just trust their process because they went through the process. That's why I tell people, just trust the process. People who have too much anxiety. They too desperate. They too broken. So they can't trust the process because they got Uncle Sam calling them. They got the IRS knocking on their door. <laughs> they got student loans up to here. So they can't trust the process. So if you can't trust the process, why don't you trust yourself? Trust your work ethic. Trust your mindset. Trust being focused. Trust getting yourself to the next level. Trust that you can create a better future for you and your children. Why don't you trust that? Maybe that'll help. But can't help everybody, friends, and I don't want to help everybody. I only want to help those, especially women, okay, that's saying, I want to create a new foundation for my children. I want to help my children win, not just me. I want to help my children win. I want to help my children get to the next level. Not just me. People worry about getting their kids Jordans. <laughs> if you want to know, I'm getting a thousand a day, friends. Go to Tanisha's Passive Income.